Hi, and welcome to this uh, quick tutorial on how to use Hextractor. Long story short, I kept getting emails from clients with hex codes, sometimes buried in a sentence, sometimes pasted from a brand PDF. And every time I had to copy them one by one into After Effects. And every time I was feeling like I was losing precious time, that's why I built the script. Now I just select all the text, copy it, and go into After Effects to paste it in the script. Hextractor pulls all the hex codes instantly, no typing and no eyedropper, just the colors. You can sort them by hue, lightness, or in the order in which they were pasted to keep everything clean and organized. Then, with one click, you can generate color controls for the current colors. These are standard expression controls, so you can link them, animate them, or use them however you want. It's perfect for building reusable setups. If you like to have the colors in your comp instead, there's an option for that. Just need to set it in the settings. Once done, click the Create Layer Guide button again, and you get a new comp with colored squares great for reusing through the entire project. If you need to reset, just click clear and the user interface is wiped clean. Other ways you can get colors is by extracting colors directly from shape layers, text layers, solids, and even color controls on existing layers. Just select the layers and click on the extract from layers button. Okay, let's clear the interface again before moving on. You can also sample colors from images. Just select a bitmap layer and click on the Extract from Layers button again, and the script will do its thing and analyze the image. In Settings, there is also an option to tweak how many colors to extract from an image. Once you've got a palette you like, go to the top menu and switch the interface to Preset Mode. Here, you'll find options to save your preset, so let's give it a name and save it. This is great for switching between projects quickly. So when a client calls you back for another project, you don't have to dig up the brand guide. Just load the preset and go. I really wanted to make color management painless inside After Effects, and I hope you find it useful. Thanks for watching.